Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Dr. K Speaks. We have entered a new dimension in time. We are being called to evolve, transform, join us. All right, so it's time to start paying attention to your box and knowing that you can create whatever you want to create in your box, but you're going to have to focus on that. You got to be specific in your approach to focusing on it because remember, there's the subject of the having of whatever you want, and there's mm -hmm. the subject of the not having whatever it is that you want. So you're going to draw into your space that which you give most of your focus to. Whether it's things, situations, or people. Mm -hmm. Thoughts create. Yep, so just do everything you can to create some wonderful stuff in your box. And then, too, remember that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. So, no matter what shows up in your box, don't beat up on yourself. Just learn right. from whatever is showing up. Like, if you created something that you didn't like, then it's like, okay, well, mm. I created that mm -hmm. so I can create something different. Yes. So work on creating what you do want. Work on focusing on what you do want. Mm -hmm. In your box. So that is talk about something that you created in your life, in your box. And let it be something that you really, really, really wanted, right? And then you had to really like put oh. your time and energy into manifesting that in your box. Well, you know what? Um Growing up in a very violent household, mm. I decided very young that my home would be my sanctuary and I would have peace yes. in my house. So I chose not to associate with people who drink or indulge in drugs or violent behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So those were my boundaries. No, okay. no, you like to fight. No, you can't be my friend. Mm -hmm. You can't be a part of my universe, a part of my world. Mm -hmm. So I created a home that was peaceful. Mm. Okay. You know, in my adult life, that was important to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now if you're thinking about like, okay, how do I create my life and my universe? Because this is not what I want that's around me. Yeah. Right. Okay. So if you look around in your house, then there's stuff in there that you probably bought, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe somebody gave it to you and you decided to put it wherever you put it. So mm -hmm. that's part of making a choice in creating your environment. Yeah. Whatever clothes you decide to put on, yeah. that is like creating, mm -hmm. you know, in your mini universe. Mm -hmm. However you wear your hair or if you wear makeup yeah. or if you don't wear makeup, those are all choices that you're mm -hmm. making and you are creating in your box. Yes. So, yes, we all do create. And then guess yeah. what? I think we talked about this in another video. But when you focus on things, mm -hmm. you create them. Right. Even if you're focusing on things that you don't want, you are also creating those in your box. So look in your box mm -hmm. and look at some of the stuff in there that you don't like. And mm -hmm. then ask yourself what kind of focus you gave to that particular thing or situation that's in your box. And then you will be able to come up with how, yeah, you got some belief systems about that particular thing that you don't like or you don't want. And what happened is you kept focusing on it and then it manifested itself in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, if you are involved in a negative relationship, Right. Or a relationship with somebody who is cheating. Well, you probably have a belief system that all men or all women cheat, you know, or mm -hmm. people aren't any good, you know, can't trust anybody because maybe you had a situation growing up to mm -hmm. where trust became an issue for you. And so you got a belief system that you can't trust anybody. So when you have those kind of belief systems and what do you draw into your life, into your box? Mm -hmm. People you can't trust. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because you're yeah. creating. So our thoughts do create. Yes. Mm -hmm. The ones that we focus on over and over and over again. So it's important to pay attention to what thoughts you're focusing on. Where do you give the most of your attention? 
And I do want to say this too, surrounding money and finances. Money is actually two subjects. Like I guess everything else is because a lot of people say, well, I wanted some money mm -hmm. and I didn't get the money. Right. Mm -hmm. But there is the subject of focusing on the having of the money mm -hmm. and the not having of the money. Mm -hmm. So it depends on where you're putting your focus. That's going to determine what shows up. Mm -hmm. In your life, if you say, I don't have enough of this or I don't have that or mm -hmm. I'm broke or I don't have enough money, then those are all so be it's that you're putting out into the universe and then mm -hmm. it's going to manifest itself in your box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll, we'll see the world that you want to live in. Visualize the world that you want to live in. In other words, the type of people that you would like to have. Um there was a time in my life, like she was saying, I had people in my life that were always complaining. You know, they would call me and just complain about stuff. You know, they weren't bad people, but they just complained. And I didn't know that when I got off the phone, I would just feel sad and feel drained all the time. You know, and then I realized that that energy was something that was affecting me emotionally and eventually physically. And I would sometimes when the phone would ring, I would have anxiety. <laughs> like, I wonder what they're going to complain about today. Mm -hmm. You know, girl, so-and-so, this happened, that happened. It's like, so I had to eliminate that conversations, those type of conversations. And focus on the beauty of life. Focus on being grateful for what I had or just something I learned that day. Mm -hmm. I, I learned to just look at life with just... a a new eye, you know, more spiritual eye. Mm -hmm. And so begin to see the beauty in my life and the things that I was grateful. And that created a whole different atmosphere in yeah, my world. Yeah, because then you started attracting different things into your box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always remember that your belief system and your continuous focus on thoughts create things, situations, or various types of relationships in your box. When you realize that you have created some things that you do not want, change the parts you focus on and work on changing your belief system so that they are in alignment with what you want to create in your life. Remember that sometimes you have to be more specific with what you want to create as everything has at least two subjects. The having of what you want to create and the not having of what you want to create. Now, is the time to take more control of what is happening in your box. It's time to be more mindful. Why? Because your thoughts create. Check out Goddess's pocket-sized book entitled the Book of Wisdom. It's a 40-page powerful book of affirmations that will assist you on your journey. Order by email at goddessgoddess at yahoo.com. That's G-O-D-D-E-S-S-G-O-D-I-S -S -S at yahoo.com. Also, my book and workbook are available on Amazon. This powerful duo will help you to reprogram your brain to bring you what you want in life. My book is entitled I Rewired My Brain, My Journey to Freedom. And the workbook is entitled, I'm Rewiring My Brain, My Journey to Freedom. Thank you for listening. And if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe so that you can be aware of all of the videos that I've already posted and ones that I will continue to post on how to become the highest version of yourself. <laughs>